And welcome to your Go Market update for 26th of May 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Hope you're all having a good Thursday so far. Let's just have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, it was another choppy session as we're becoming very used to now in the US. But all major indices managed to close in positive territory and on a key technical levels. And this was despite the FOMC minutes pointing to a more aggressive Fed than perhaps had been thought in terms of how many interest rate rises may be on the cards going forward. Normally that would upset markets to some degree, but perhaps the market's relieved that inflation is actually being tackled. US futures are mildly positive in early trading, but Asian indices are a little mixed, holding small gains but look very, very cautious. The ASX was up around about 0.4% in early trading, but has dropped to around about 0.1% as we're recording this, so off the highs of the session. European futures are pointing to a higher open at this afternoon at this stage. The US dollar index managed to pause after the recent losses that it sustained over the last week or so. Gold is holding around about 18.50 and all continues to trade towards the top of that range around 115 on the Brent contract CFD. VIX is still trading around 28, though there is a small drop below that today. But of course, in context, this is still relatively high. In the crypto space, Bitcoin continues to be choppy, but looks settled in that 28 to 30,000 range. And not much coming out in terms of data in the early part of the day, but it ramps up with the US tonight. We've got GDP, weekly jobs and PC numbers all due released this evening, which will have an impact on market sentiment going forward. We'll need to see those numbers coming OK if we're to see the market feeling any way, shape or form positive. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we thought the Euro Kiwi was worth a look after yesterday's Reserve Bank of New Zealand decision to raise rates. We didn't quite get the response we thought, or at least not to the same degree we thought. We did have some strength in the Kiwi, but this seems to have got stopped at around about this 164.90 level that you can see on the chart there. This has been support now and is where the 200 EMA is for the last couple of weeks and so one wonders whether we're due for a bounce off this perhaps up to retest maybe 165.48 in the first instance you can see we're just bouncing along underneath that resistance short term so one would need to be patient to take advantage of this on the asx we've been having a quick look at agl energy uh, this has had a really good run since the beginning of the year. You can see we're down at $6. Uh, we're now up to around about this 860 level. But look as though we've got stuck around about 860. So we're going to keep an eye on this over the next few days. This could be a potential medium to long term hold. We'd like to see it move above this previous high here at 880, which was also tested at this stage. So just be aware, we might get a little pop up towards that and then a pause, but a break over 880 may be significant. So as I said, one to keep on the radar over the next few trading days to see if we can break that level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.